It's us, Excelsior. Excelsior. <laughs> and we are doing whatever we're doing with, uh, with this thing today. There's a little yes. impromptu yes. video, it's impromptu video. So we're supposed to be working today, but uh, if there's any reason why we can find a way to not work in a day, we'll find it. We'll find it, and, and uh, I'm afraid you've got to suffer it. Yes, yes. So here we are out in the sun. It was sunny until just when we press record and yes. now the sun's gone. <laughs> it's and gone. It looks like it might actually rain, so uh, we probably need to get on with this. But exciting times, exciting times because I've done a video in the past, Nigel, about the Ultimate Electrician's Toolbox, ah, yes. as you'd be well aware. I, well, I, do, I own the Ultimate, <laughs> so I mean... <laughs> Nigel obviously has this. Would you like to raise up your plumber's bag, in fact, Nigel, and uh, just remind the world You've about... You've seen this before. Yes, yes. Look how heavy, cumbersome, impractical. No, no, no. It simply does not float. Hans boat. That bag comes with a free muscle. You don't get it for a week or two, but you get one. I used to have muscles and they all sort of sank down here. You can see you've got a very, very strong midsection there. But I'm going to do some pair of tits. Yep, <laughs> maybe. What are we talking about? Um, oh, toolboxes, yes. Oh, uh, yes. 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 So uh, the, I had the Stanley Top Edge, the ultimate electric toolbox, and very good toolbox it is too. It, it yes, yes, I, I agree. It was a very good tool. Very pleased with it. So I decided to change it for something else. And why not just, why not? Well, you know how you get an itch for these things there, isn't there? There's kind do. of a reason for it, you see. Now, uh, just to explain a bit of backstory. Uh, Juan was running around with Juan's tool belt, fully populated with you cutters, pliers, uh, tape. There's still some stuff in there, actually. They very tape, often got yeah, lost you, down you, the middle of the You've always got something seats. in there. Yeah. All, all sparkers always have bits of earth leaving and a vault stick hanging off there, don't they? The trouble is, though, you, you wear all that stuff and it kind of pulls your trousers down a little bit. And, uh, well, I, I've got a decent decent belt arrangement here to make sure that my yes. <laughs> trousers cling on to where they ought to be and don't go uh, dropping down and exposing my junk to any dissatisfied Thank customers. God. Yes. But uh, nonetheless, you run around with all this sort of stuff on your belt. And uh, a, a year or two ago, I can't remember, it was a while ago, I thought I'd try out the... Tough, but tough built. Tough built. Thank you, Nigel, for rescuing me there. In fact, would you like to show off your tough built, Nigel? I will. Nigel I will. keeps his tough built in his lesser electrician's bag of shite. It's quite a weighty one, you know. Mm. You do feel after a while. Do, do offer is, it up to the camera, Mr. Mars. Which is great. Yes, these pouch things, they uh, are rather spiffing, I and like you can probably see that. You're, 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 yeah. We each have these clips upon our person, yep. with which one may attach. Yes. Stuff out it means you can get the weight off. I do, I, I do find though that they kind of put the weight all in one spot, which I found was had some discomfort at first. Yeah. But I find that if I have them oriented more towards the front, then uh, the, the weight is more comfortable. Yeah, I tend on the to side. shift them to the back to move for moving around. Then when I'm in one spot working, I'll pull it to the front. Mm -hmm. Nigel yeah, prefers yeah. it around the back. You heard it here first. Your head's being cut off by this camera angle, by the way. You probably need to take a step back. Oops, sorry. Yeah. There How's we go. That? There, How's go. That there we go. No idea. No idea. So uh, y yes, uh, the advantage, of course, with not what Nigel calls his basics, is that he can pull them out of his plumber's bag of shame, and simply <laughs> clip them to his belt, and the majority of his day-to-day -day yeah screwdrivers, hand job equipment pliers, whatever. Mm -hmm, is all uh, all available in one go and uh, at the end of the job he simply decants it back into his bag yep. and he's not walking around with a load of uh, tools yep. hanging off his belt which uh, yep. otherwise would perhaps drop off in places where one doesn't want them to so I thought yes that's a good idea but that's uh, that's, that's too much for me too much for me all in all in one spot like that uh, so I split mine across two pouches yes I know this is very fascinating stuff, fascinating stuff. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, it was a case of clipping on the pouches as and when required. But then I was carrying around my, my Stanley toolbox with all its stuff in and my two separate pouches with all their stuff yep. in. And there was duplication of toolage. Yes, toolage duplication. Definitely, yeah. And the idea being that, you know, if I were out and about, everything I needed would be in my Stanley. But when I was out on the job, I could 
put these pouches on and most of what I needed was in the pouches, but it meant that most of what I needed was being duplicated. So I had yeah. additional pliers, additional screwdrivers, yeah. uh, etc. So I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could carry a toolbox where I could drop my pouches in? That's not a uh, nonce bag like a plumber would carry, <laughs> some kind of fool. <laughs> had some robustness to it. And lo and behold, I was in cities lurking by the counter as half an hour and a Dewalt deep tea stack well it just just leapt out at me and punched me right in the balls yes. and uh yeah so I, I think let's have a quick look at that shall we so uh, where's that other where's that camera gone if you, i'm gonna get nigel i know nigel's camera work is shoddy as hell uh, i do apologize in advance for his idiocy and this camera is also like a Shot million years, years old <laughs> and looks like someone's wiped their ass right. on it. Take it, that's the right way up. Yeah, well, you, if you look on the back there, Nigel, you can you just press record. Oh, I thought you were already This is hard work, isn't it? There you go, there you go red light. And if I open up the Dewalt t stack now it comes with a tote, but I've taken the tote out. One doesn't tote. Oh, and we've got all yeah, the electrician's really essentials in here. Oh, hello. Including the old emergency pipe. Of course, that's not normally in there. Normally, my Klein clamp meters in there, which I've put in this rather matty case. But as you can see, you have the the tough built. Oh, hey, there's a satisfying click to that, isn't there? Oh, hey, would you? Would you? Yeah, you would. I do like those tough builds. Yeah, yeah. I've mine's... been through a few. Yeah, oh, really? You, you know, busted I've been some. Through a few. I don't want to hear that they're not robust. No, no, I mean, I've been through a few different types of tool pouch. I've been Makita, oh, yes. no names, just various. And uh, these are the only ones I've actually stuck with over time. Yes, yes. Uh, you can buy the clips separately as well, so you can have more clips. You've actually got some clips on the back of the got van, haven't you? Clip on the bulkhead in but the van. I'm going to do a cutaway right now to us clipping a pouch into the back of the van. There you go. What do you think about that cutaway? Oh, yeah. Seamless. It was seamless. Seamless. It's like beautiful work. Oh, yeah, you see, I can beautiful work. So one would like. Wait, are you still? Are you not? You are still filming. Are you still filming. Yes. Yeah, would you want to film around my balls? Mm -hmm. And you can see here we've got uh, clippers. These were these were Nigel's pliers, and he uh, he actually chucked them away. I discarded. So I stole them from him. Uh, I, I'm gutted because I lost my torch. I'm sorry, James Beck. You, you were very kind, and you sent me that torch. And three weeks ago. I lost it on job. I know which site it got lost on, I just don't know where, which is extremely small. So I'm carrying my big Larry at the moment until we go to Alex this year and I get s s seduced by some new light wear that I didn't know I ever wanted. Oh, I got me Klein non contact detector. This was a bastard for getting knocked on while it was in my pockets, but it didn't so much while it's in here. Uh, my King Dick no. screwdriver. Perfectly named tool. A couple of marker pencils, this rather handy thing here, which contains all my bits that I can use with my electric screwdriver thing. Yes, and that is the prize of your tools these days. This it? is a rather marvellous thing. We're actually going to do a different video about that. It is very nice. I do like, I'm impressed by that tool. Watch this space if you have the patience. Uh, and if you don't, you won't. I do believe the sun's trying to come back out again, Mr. Matt. So, uh, so yes, that's, that's a rather comfortable and practical arrangement. And at the end of the day, we can simply decant them back into the big box. And in the big box as well, we also have uh, some of the bits and bobs. Because I don't have so many uh, bit spaces, I like to sort of consolidate some of my screws and things in there and uh, some of the other little smaller bits and bobs. Like I say, I've left the tote out. But then the, the bigger tools like the hammer, the plumber's thing and the jig there, the hacksaw thing there, this rather marvellous arm egg knife. Mm. They can all just sit in the bottom of the box and then as I say at the end of the job one can decant the basic the base ox and shut up shop. And uh, yeah so it's, it's quite nice because you can get on a job and you don't necessarily have to lift the whole thing out. If it's just a bit of a bit of basic work required you can just lift that out and bingo bongo. Indeed. Impressive. But being a Dewalt tea stack, as my new yeah. ultimate, ultimate electrician's toolbox is, means we can tea stack the motherfucker 
onto something else. And the something else is clipped on to the bottom of the fat box right now. Ugh. Yeah. What do we think about it? Doesn't this look clean and shiny, eh? It is, it be, it is. Oh, that'll soon be scratched that'll, and Yeah, opaque. soon be uh, wrecked. Wrecked it'll be before long. Now this ordinarily would have all your various component drawers in. Now I've taken some of them out because, as you can see... Yeah, just too many. One is sporting a Mega 1552 back in the case. Antique. But bulletproof yes, and still absolutely. perfectly capable for the job. The only thing it doesn't do is type A RCD testing. But when you're just on a basic domestic ERCR, you can get pretty much everything you need out of that. And of course, we have the Metro 1552 with us most of the time as well. That does yeah. all, the, all yeah. the posh stuff. So uh, we're not like uh, we're short of testers. The Metro, uh, we've got to get back into service. At, Nigel, why, why is the Metro out of service at the moment? Can you remind me? <laughs> well, I. Uh, did someone well, plug it into a live on, socket on, and press on, the on, continuity button? Let me button. stop this recording and I'll explain. The Mega, I do like a Mega. When you plug it into something that's live, say a plug that's not on your arm well, or no, you two that, demonstrate such knowledge. Because when I you plug this it. into something that's live, it kind of screams at you, I'm sure you know. It kind of goes, no, 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 this is live, you cannot do an R1, R2. Whereas the Metro, very quietly did nothing but showed a little 240 in the corner of the screen. And it takes a while for that to come up. So, plugs it in, I did. It takes a while, listen to me. Well, when you're going around lots of sockets, a couple of seconds is a while. Well, you grab your camera again and we can demonstrate this right now, Nigel. And then, uh, well, I've pushed the button for an hour, one hour, two on a live. So, uh, if we switch the Mega here from, as you can see, that's live at the moment, if we switch it to a dead test such as continuity. There you go. It lets you know. It says, don't be an idiot and push the button and because... what doesn't it do? It doesn't just shit itself and blow its fuse and then refuse to work until a new fuse is it. Quality. Do you know how many times I've ever Metro? blown a fuse? Metro. <laughs> Sort it out, make it beep or something, for Christ. That could be done in a firmware update, I'm sure. But uh, yes, we, we do like to carry two testers around. It's always handy to have two testers, I find. Um, especially as one has different features to the other. But also, if you ever think, hmm, I'm not quite sure of the numbers coming out of this one, then you've got a second one you can compare it to. Yeah. And also, if you get caught short on one of them running out of battery, yeah. you have a second one you can refer to. So we always carry two testers. We've got the Metro for the clever stuff. We will have once I've put in the new fuse. Or we'll packet of fuses, just in case Nigel wants to blow any more. <laughs> and we've been carrying around, traditionally, the TIS MFT Pro. The Pro has a fault at the moment. It does have a fault. We, we weren't sure whether it was the cables or not. The Pro does have a fault. And we happened to be in Hatton Electrical last week, weren't we, over in Stratford, yes. because they had an open day. And they said, oh, we're doing calibration. The jet's very noisy, isn't it? Oh, we're doing calibration, and uh, I was like, oh, well, if I'd have known that, I'd have brought my 2S along, you could just take a look at it. But what I had on the van at the time was the Mega. Uh, so it's been calibrated for the first time in four years. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I say, I, I, don't, I, I, just, I just got nostalgic again for it. Just because, you know, like this, 10 years now I've had this, but it's absolutely fucking bomb proof, and it does everything we need it to do. Yeah, absolutely. With the exception of the stuff that it doesn't do, which the Metro does. <laughs> But on your average yeah, ERCR. Yeah, a toolbox tester. It's, you know. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're doing just fault finding fault. work, basic ERCRs, it's all in there. So, um, would you, would you, if you'd like to continue filming my, my super trays here, Nigel. And I'm sorry about him. He really is a shit camera operator, as we've said before. Pair down the, uh, the, the drill bits. Got our various adapters. And there's my little pat adapter. I made another video. Uh, basic socket tester. The Ethos R2 adapter there. The Klein USB uh, socket tester, which we always use when we fit USB sockets. Uh, Unilite torch. The trouble with this torch and the Big Larry is you can't use rechargeable batteries in them because they, um, the lower voltage, the 1.2 volt batteries, they, they don't tend to work very well, so you've got to use alkalines. So I need to get myself a decent rechargeable torch again, and uh, again, I'm sorry James Beck, I'm so sorry that I lost it. But I was actually showing it off to Linda on that site, she was with us, I was, look at this torch, it's fucking amazing. And then the next day I was like, oh shit, where's my torch? I must have left it on that job somewhere. Gutting, I am at most snow. Yeah. 
uh, laser measure bit boxes, drill boxes. Are you, are you sure you're close enough there, Nigel? Probes, just getting right. Probes, etc. But of course, you can split the two boxes down, which is nice. Yes. And you can attach the two boxes together, which is nice. And it all just kind of works. So, Nigel's rather upset that I've now got the superior, superior toolbox. You can put that down now because I'm talking to that camera. He was always, uh, always a bit, a bit upset that he didn't have. Uh, do you want my old toolbox actually instead no, of that thing? No, no, no. No, no sorry. I, I know you've been crying about it, and no, I'm very happy with my old bag. Well, you say that, but I've never seen somebody with such a weeping mangina when I turned up with my D Walt here the other day. He was almost in tears. He was. I was in tears because you spent my wages on that fucking thing. Oh, you aren't getting paid this week, by the way, yes, because it's all gone on my rather spiffing new toolbox, which is far too tidy and far too clean and needs to be full of dust and shit and scratched up to fit. Yes, we need to kick it about a bit. So uh, I'll take care of that next time we're on site. I'll uh, give it a, a you, boot. You probably, probably sit on it as well. You could. I wonder you if could. they're strong enough to stand on. 30 kilos, so no. So you can't stand them. Mind you, they say that. Uh, I'm sure if you stood on the edges, yeah, it'd be strong enough. Yeah, it'll we'll take it my go. it'll take my seventy odd. That's for damn sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What can go wrong, Mr. Marsh? Nothing. Nothing can go wrong. It's all too well planned. And like the video, which is a load of made up bullshit. The sun is getting lovely. It's nice and warm. Yeah, it's jolly good, man. isn't it? It's just like you want to sit out and just uh, enjoy a pint of an I'll afternoon. Tell you what, if it was me. And I was watching this video right now. And I'd reach this point. I think I'd be really depressed with my life that I'd sat through that. If it were me, I wouldn't watch this shit. Fucking <laughs> hell. Mm, oh, I suppose we'd better do the uh, buy me a beer shout outs. Oh, yes, I, I suppose we'd better on. I'd better find out who's bought us a beer. Yes. Right, a smooth segue into the buying yeah, a beer yes. section. Not many to report because we've only just put a video out and nobody likes us anymore. Most people didn't like us in the first place, I'm sure. Oh, I uh, don't like us. But thank you to Ken Gibson. Ken Gibson. Old Kenny, uh, the oldest apprentice in the North West. Oh. I say. Well, how old is the oldest apprentice in the North West? I'm afraid he doesn't say. <laughs> but he must be pretty old. Pretty and of course, Andy Payne goes with that. Andy song. Payne. Uh, always fun content. Cheers. So that Andy Payne or lies Andy always, Payne. Always, always fun content. <laughs> yeah. Really Say that now. So thank you for your. Thank you very much. Things. Thank you. Yes. Well. Excelsior. <laughs>